very patient. Very patient and he's he's just a great teacher. Even when we're, you know, when we're just working on our assignments, he walks around and asks us if we have any questions. So I think he's a great hands-on teacher. He goes beyond to make sure that everybody is understanding what he's teaching. He teaches so clearly. He uses a lot of images and explanation paired with writing on the board. He's very thorough and he uses PowerPoints in the board. He'll go back and clarify anything for any student. Yes, in a way, I do think the deaf part of my experience growing up does have something to do with it. You know, I'm able to recognize how it feels to become the only person in the class. To have that feeling of isolation. And I've noticed that growing up, and especially in my college experience, whenever a teacher were to ask me, you know, how are you doing? Wow, that made a big difference to me. So I try to incorporate that kind of thing into my classroom for all of my students as well. I try to make it so that they don't feel as if they're the only person in the room, but that they have a life, that they have a story, that they have experience to share, and to have that connection that is so important. And so I believe that my deaf experience gave me the ability to be a better fit for my students. I have learned a lot and it has been easier than I thought it would be when I first came. And he has a great personality, so I mean, he knows how to get your attention when he's showing assignments on board, so it's not, it's not a boring class, it's fun. <laughs> I don't feel alone in class anymore, and I know that if I have questions, Ben is happy to explain until I get it. I've never, never met a teacher like him, so he has shown me in the class a lot.